Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of the VMware Explore 2022 event in San Francisco. And we're excited to speak with Peter Bookman, the founder and CEO of Guard Dog AI. Peter, welcome. Well, glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I guess let's jump in. If you could just give us a, uh, a quick overview of, uh, of the company for those folks who, who may not uh, be aware or know too much about you at this point. Yeah, thank you again. Uh, GuardDog is approaching the problem of cybersecurity where working backwards from damages doubling every year, year over year in the trillions to uh, cybersecurity experts being needed year over year doubling again vacancies, as well as, of course, just the number of devices we're managing virtual and otherwise. And so we see the need for a new role specifically managing attack surface management and assisting in that. So we have a threat scoring concept and dashboard associated with a simple deployment mechanism of deploying FIDOs or these devices on a network or virtual devices that watch and score from an overlay perspective what's going on, as well as a automated assistance technology that will offer countermeasures to attempted exploits of those vulnerabilities, allowing for remediation to take place at the time something's taking place by attack surface managers. So it, it really changes how we approach cybersecurity at large and makes it so we're no longer responding to stuff that happened afterwards to being able to respond while something's happening and having all of us be responsible for our cyber wellness, whether we're IT organizations or individuals, homes, businesses, cloud, edge, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you can see it, you can score it. If you can score it, then you can uh, be able to offer protections and of course in the future be able to really mitigate with risk like insurance concepts as well. Now, how does your uh, company partner with or work with uh, VMware and its ecosystem? Yeah, we, we just recently announced uh, a use of a container concept to overcome supply chain issues where you can get the physical version of our product. For VMware Explorer, we're announcing the availability of our vFIDO, which is uh, using VMware's Tanzu and Kubernetes containers to deploy anywhere you have virtualized infrastructure. So now you can see with using VMware's management tools as well as the other security products, into your threat scoring and your cyber wellness we were just talking about so that you can manage and maintain. So whether you're managing a you know, cloud infrastructure of 150,000 servers or you're managing a home where you might have 100 devices, three quarters of which are IoT or smart devices, you're able to, to have a dashboard that sees all of it, manage all of it. And again, coming back to the VMware ecosystem, being able to leverage the partner ecosystem as well as the amazing management tool sets VMware has that now can offer that threat scoring as well as that cyber wellness scoring, as well as the assisted interruptive technology that really buys you time in the cloud, virtualized or physical or anywhere end to end. Now, kind of piggybacking on that, uh, a lot of attendees are gonna be here at the show uh, walking around searching booths uh, for specific technology. Uh, what are some of the specific problems that you would solve for those attendees that you might talk to them at the booth? Yeah, we're really excited about, we, we've used the term edge territory to describe where you might not have visibility today. Uh, you know, whether you're talking about orphaned containers or orphaned VMs, uh, which are huge cyber cybersecurity liabilities, or we're talking about you know, edge territories being where homes are in the distributed enterprise, work from anywhere, work from home, any of these places where we currently make trade-offs because it's too prohibitively complex and expensive, that's what we make very simple. And by the way, very manageable from a cost perspective because it's, it's very simple as a service to be able to bundle either the vFIDO or the FIDO that marries to our protective cloud service that really gives that visibility, that threat scoring and the cyber wellness scoring. And the more you're able to see, whether homes or small offices, remote offices, or just anywhere I'm going, 
pop-up offices uh, in any industry, healthcare, financial services, just anywhere, retail, it, you were able to provide that very simple visibility as well as that assisted protective technology. Now, you've already kind of talked a little bit about the, you know, your company's technology, but maybe you can kind of give us a deeper dive into what are the different components of that technology and what makes it you know, different than what else is on the market? Yeah, a great question. Uh, we take a network-based approach. We think that's really important because some devices, you know, when you look at endpoint management solutions out there, it's great. They are powerful and we relate well to them. Uh, speaking of that VMware ecosystem, we're able to automate when you can assume it's there. But there is a problem with uh, device management solutions in that they don't install on smart devices, for example. So just focusing on the home, you're not able to install these agents everywhere. And I don't, we personally have found that that's not a per device approach, gets really exponentially large really fast. And it's a lot to manage. So being able to, first of all, begin as an overlay solution where you deploy either a physical device, we call it FIDO, you know, uh, named after the dog that sat on its master's porch in World War II and was very loyal and kept watch over the home, uh, or vFIDO, the virtual version of this, that when you deploy it, you get that same visibility. So being able to say cloud, data center, on-prem, home, small office, small network, wherever it is, a network overlay that then uh, interrogates the network, if you will, from an overlay perspective. It's a, a uh, vulnerability assessment, which we view as done properly superior to a penetration test. The penetration test assumes the bad guys are out there, you know, outside in. A vulnerability assessment can be a the enemy is within, but maybe not an intentional enemy. You know, when 83% of exploits attempted occur from email breaches, then that's, it's a really good model to look from the inside out and realize that if it's gonna come from an email and somebody's laptop, click, they clicked on a link and it went, it's nice to know they're not the bad guy, but they are a gateway for the bad guy. And now being able to mitigate it not being able to spread, which is really where the damage gets done via the network, is whether it's FIDO or vFIDO and inventorying the vulnerabilities and creating a visibility map of that and understanding with threat scoring, then the cyber wellness of what did I do about it? And being able to make that very simple, very easy, really transforms and makes it so we work well with the other solutions out there, the endpoint management stuff, you know, the VPN, the privacy device, uh, solutions, virtual private networks, the encryptions, you know, the, the we definitely suggest multi-factor authentication, but we're, we're focusing on that visibility component, the vulnerability assessment, and then anything on a network trying to exploit those vulnerabilities. And so it really works well and can do things with threat intelligence where it notifies you that that's going on so you can take further action. And it, it's just really kind of, we view it as a little bit of like the center of the hub of when you're watching at every network and some devices have device management on it, it's very handy to be able to let them know to take action uh, and be able to also protect at the same time. It, it, we can mitigate or remediate something going on very, very quickly. When you add virtual firewalls and firewall concepts to that, you can mitigate threats very, very quickly because I can change the network i can block not just stop not just interrupt like we're doing not just redirect but actually also take additional actions that makes the whole architecture conform to a cybersecurity risk that's taking place right now and you know are there any new maybe recent announcements or anything new that you're talking about now here at the uh at the vmware explore show that that maybe you can touch on yeah, we sort of just alluded to that. We're, we are announcing the availability of our vFIDO solution that pairs with that protective cloud service. To date, we have had the FIDO available, the physical device that we recently, we had previously announced has the uh, containerized deployment to overcome supply chain issues. And now this is available for VMware partners, for VMware customers to deploy in a containerized environment. So now you get that same visibility 
that same threat scoring, that same cyber wellness scoring married to. And in the future, we might see something where that marries to some, some uh, risk, is, risk protection concept like insurance and those kind of things. So we're announcing it to show this virtual version of a FIDO available married to our protective cloud service so that you have that visibility and that interruptive concept so you can respond before damage is done. You can respond while damage is being attempted. You might, somebody might click on the wrong email and get one device, but they don't get to spread it to the rest of the network. They only get the one. So orphan VMs are no longer a problem. Closed ports and issues that are there are no longer a problem because even if you are vulnerable, and at risk, we're going to interrupt those from being able to be exploited, but also arming attack surface managers or monitors or architects, these roles that we view are hugely valuable to create within organizations and exist in a distributed way, because we are all attack surface monitors in the end. And being able to now marry that to the attack surface managers who can create the response and the uh, remediation concepts. And then the architects who organization wide man manage all of that are it, it really changes how we look at the vulnerability stuff and everything else. So that's what we're announcing at this show and showing at the show. Great. And VMware has been talking about the big picture on the keynote stage. What are some of the uh, themes and trends that your company is seeing moving from 2022 into 2023? Yeah, we're, we're seeing, you know, I, we love and we want to applaud the work from anywhere concept just continues to grow, you know, work from home was one thing. And, you know, I get a kick out of hearing people talk about, well, there's, you know, what about the next um, pandemic or what have you. And I, I just view that, and we just view that we're seeing from our customers and everybody else that we're not going back. The company's born during the pandemic, don't even know what an office is, though they'll probably have one but they, they, don't, they didn't need one because you couldn't even have one. And so there's so many benefits to work from anywhere, not just you know, the morale of the people who work, but also the ability to get talent from anywhere in the world, regardless of location. You know, the nearshoring, offshoring, all that stuff has become like blended into, it's just shoring. You know, we're, we're just getting talent. We're just acquiring talent. And so, it just seems like once again, VMware is in a great place and we are excited about 2023 where there's more and more of this talent pool that you can tap into that whether you're cloud or data center or on-prem or distributed, it doesn't matter because let's use what we're doing. I can use this for supply chain like one device. I'm using a container not to just have many things on one thing but also to be able to free myself from the architecture and truly have software defined everything everywhere. And that's really, really cool in a cloud world, in a distributed data center world, in an on-prem world, in a whatever you want to call territory, edge territory, it, it doesn't matter. So yeah, 2023, we are celebrating and exciting about the nightmare, speaking of cybersecurity, of trying to get our arms around when you can work from anywhere, when, you know, the attacker is on the top of the mountain skiing with me, you know, the, <laughs> because they can assume I'm there because there's a Wi-Fi there and I can join it and I can work and I can do this or the gym or wherever I am. If I can work from anywhere, then we need visibility into everywhere. We need vulnerability scoring and also that wellness scoring, that cyber wellness scoring of how am I responding? Because if I don't know the network, maybe I'm just managing the devices, but maybe I also can, in a software defined world, respond to that and say, I can turn stuff on or off automatically. I can respond to that, that cyber wellness notion of saying, well, let's use a virtualized version right now because I don't trust this network. You know, let's lock this device that I'm managing down, kind of workspace one concepts and say, let's approach this from a, I can be offline if I trust it, or if I'm not on a network, if I'm on a network, I can say, do I know it? No, yes. I can have basically the whole thing be scored and scored from a threat perspective, scored from a wellness perspective, 
and and really embrace the work from anywhere that the value is just exponential it's if i can work from anywhere i have morale boost and i have the value of talent anywhere in the world so peter this has been great information uh you know for the folks who weren't able to come to vmware explore uh, maybe you can show us a quick demo of what the solution looks like so folks at home can see what it looks like yes i would love to thank you so much let's just Cue that up right now and show you the demo we have. And if there's any questions, look forward to talking to you more at the show or join us at the website or social media. We're going to start this video by scanning for wireless networks in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Now we will select GDS demo as the wireless network we want to test this on. We are attempting to capture a wireless handshake from an Android device connecting to the wireless network. We will start to capture the handshakes and try to intercept the packets meant for the access point. This is an Android phone we're using to connect to the wireless network, and as you can see, we can capture a full handshake. We will now show the same process, but on an iPad device. The iPad is connected to GDS Demo already, so we select the Deauth button. In this attempt, we will kick the device off the network and force it to reconnect and have it renegotiate the token with the access point. We can pick that up and show the full handshake being captured again, with having the same result. This is very fast and easy to do. Now, we have successfully shown how a full handshake is captured and the results of deauthorizing devices off a wireless network. Let's see what happens when we add the protection provided by a guard dog FIDO device. We have added the FIDO device to the network. We will use the same wireless network and try to capture a handshake. Here is the Android device we used before. It is already connected to the Wi-Fi network. So now let's attempt to kick it off it. Nothing happens. Let's try again. Nothing. The device does not disconnect from the network and therefore no handshake is captured. As shown, the attempt to get a handshake and deauth were unsuccessful. Let's take a look through the guard dog user interface and the level of information we show when those attacks are attempted. This user interface highlights what attacks we are detecting. Here are the current attacks we show on the network. Let's go to the FIDOS page to see the current attacks. Here we are showing the FIDOS added to the system. Select the analytics page. Let's have a closer look at the attacks that guard dog Fido has detected during this demonstration. It shows all sorts of attempts and attacks that we have deployed our countermeasures against, as was previously shown. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog. Um, where can people go if they want to find out more information about guard dog and some of the things you've talked about today? Yeah, thank you again. It's great to be here. Great to have this conversation and share with you all. Our website's a great place, Guard Dog AI. Also, any of the social media channels are a great place to engage with us and find out more. And we would love to talk to you. We'd love to talk about how we can show you what's going on for your organization, what threat scoring looks like and what cyber wellness looks like, and as well as that uh, assistance technology that provides that those countermeasures. So look forward to speaking with, engaging with you at the show and at the website or wherever you want to find us.